In this video we're going to introduce implicitly defined functions, explain what they are and how to differentiate them. So an implicitly defined function is one that isn't written in the form y equals or x equals, it's a mixture of variables. So here we can see this one doesn't say y equals, doesn't say x equals, nor can it actually be rearranged to say y equals or x equals uh, a function explicitly of the other variable. So this is a function that's been defined implicitly. Now, in such functions, we can't just differentiate and say dy by dx equals. We could only say dy by dx equals if the function said y equals. And we can't say dx by dy equals because we can only do that when a function says x equals. So it's neither of those things. So we're going to have to take a different approach. What we can do is differentiate both sides of an equation. If we do the same thing to both sides, i.e. differentiate, then it works as long as we do the same to both sides. So if we differentiate d dx, that means differentiate the left-hand side with respect to x, and differentiate the right-hand side with respect to x, d dx the left-hand side and the right-hand side, Since we've done the same thing to both sides, that equals sign should still hold, should still be true. So differentiate x squared, we get 2x plus differentiating y squared with respect to x. Now that poses more of a problem. We can't actually differentiate y squared with respect to x directly. So that's when we have to look at an alternative way of doing this. Well, notice that the d dx operator, that means differentiate with respect to x, we could get an equivalent operator by doing d dy, then multiplying by dy by dx. Notice that the dy's cancel to give just d dx. So this here, d dx is equivalent to d dy, then multiplying by dy by dx. So if we do that, if we apply d dy, if we differentiate with respect to y, we get 2y, then times by dy by dx, get that, equals, so the differential of cos x is minus sine x, plus, and the differential of sine y with respect to x, well, we can't do it, so if we use this alternative method of differentiating with respect to y, to get cos y, then multiplying by dy by dx, that's the equivalent of having differentiated with respect to x. Okay, so now let's get all the dy by dx's on one side and all the non-dy by dx's on the other. So we get 2y dy by dx take cos y dy by dx equals minus sine x minus 2x. So I've taken all the non-dy by dx terms on the right-hand side and all the dy by dx terms to the left-hand side. Notice that both terms now have a factor of dy by dx in common. So if I take out a factor of dy by dx, dy by dx bracket 2y minus cos y equals minus sine x minus 2x, then divide by 2y minus cos y, I get dy by dx equals minus sine x minus 2x over 2y minus cos y. And that's how to implicitly differentiate. The key point here is instead of differentiating with respect to x, when we get a y term, the equivalent operation is differentiating with respect to y, then multiplying the result by dy by dx. Again, the reason this works is because the dy's cancel to give d dx, so the two are exactly equivalent. For more tutorial videos like this, subscribe to the YouTube channel or go to alevelmathsrevision.com.